Hi again, everybody. Thanks for joining Art Kirsch and myself on Celebrating Act Two as we once again talk to the, the Hollywood historian, the man in charge, the creator of Forgotten Hollywood, Forgotten History, Manny Pacheco. Good to see you. Art and in charge. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Manny. You know, I got a, got a, a beef to pick with you. Uh, we've yeah, known each other for, for many, many years. And I know you're working on a lot of things, but I'm, I, I have some forgotten Hollywood books. And you've been talking about coming out with a new one. And quite frankly, where is it? Well, well it's not easy really? writing a good book. Come on now. I got I to gotta make sure everything's right. I got to do the research. I've got to put together. Okay. The, the, Manny, the right Manny, Manny, it's time. Well, we're, we're real close. I've got the list of all the actors now. All I got to do is get a couple more photographs and and write, of course, the appendix and you know that kind of stuff. I gotta I gotta get get the the odds and ends together. But yeah, I agree with you, Art. It is time. Um, I do have a number of actors we can I can give you a taste of, and of course, the new title of the book as well. What's okay. the title? What's the title? We're gonna call this one the Adventures of. Forgotten oh, Hollywood. Okay, good. <laughs> Robin Hood, like the adventures of That's Robin Hood. But you know, because I, I, I thought, excuse me, I, I thought you money. were going to call it Son of, and I wasn't, I wasn't going to no, sit for that. That's my second book, Art. Keep up with us, can you? Son oh, of is our okay. second book. Okay. <laughs> now, I was at, at a at an event with a couple of Hollywood historians, and they were saying, "Well, I don't know about the adventures. Maybe you should call it Revenge of Forgotten Hollywood." Forgotten. <laughs> And I thought that was very funny. And I thought, well, maybe that's a future book, The the Revenge sure, of Forgotten that's it. That'll be book number five. Five, yeah. number five. Maybe. Oh so my what's, God. In, what's in book number four? First of all, for people who haven't read your books, give us the idea behind each of these books. They're all different. Right. They're all have a kind of a similar approach. My books are metaphorically where uh, Americana meets Hollywood in what I call Hollywood and Vine moments. And I use, instead of the traditional actors that are always written about, like Humphrey Bogart, Cary Grant, uh, uh, Betty Davis, Catherine Hepburn, James Dean, Marilyn Monroe, I use the uh, actors who appear below the titles of film, the supporting players, the character actors, uh, to tell the story of America, to tell the story of Hollywood. And I and these are the actors that you see on screen in hundreds of films, and you're sitting on your couch and go, "Oh, look, look who's there!" That's uh, yeah. and you you you've forgotten their names, even though you remember their faces. Yeah. And so uh, this particular book will have actors who did actually star in some films, although they might have had briefer careers or more brief careers, I should say, and um. Uh, you know, like like an Audie Murphy, for example. I mean, he really was a star, but he was kind of a peculiar star because his stardom was based on his heroics uh, in World War II. So that's why I've included him with, of, of all people, Charles Durning. And you would say, what does Charles Durning have to do with Audie Murphy? Okay, what does, what does he have to do? have to do with Audie Murphy? Yeah, and Art, do you, you have an idea? No. No, you, you know, we don't pre-rehearse most of these things. So, you know, they, we, we, we got to look this up on the Internet or we yeah. call you, Manny. They were uh, they fought in World War Two. Oh. They were honored and, and they were honored veterans. Um, oh. Charles Durning oh. fought in D-Day. He was actually a D-Day survivor. Wow. Didn't he know also that. fought. Yeah, and he fought in the Battle of the Bulge. So even though they're of two different eras, one of the late 50s and early 60s, the other of the late 60s, 70s, and into the 80s, they do share this bond of uh, fighting for our country, uh, fighting in the great, uh, the greatest war of all, the, one, the war to end all wars of World War II. And uh, they both served their country uh, well. And so that's, that's going to be a chapter. It's kind of a, a, a tribute uh, to to the uh, to the fighting soldiers who ended up uh, becoming actors, actually. So yeah, o Manny, only mm. you could find the connection between two actors like that. Mm. And the chapter will be called "Kilroy Was Here," <laughs> <laughs> which That's I think good. is a great title for for a chapter. Myself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So How about, uh, give us a taste of some others in, in this new book, well, uh, "Adventures of Forgotten Hollywood and Forgotten History." 
Here's another one. It's a tribute for you, uh, John, because you love the Western. I've got a special chapter that I'm, I'm just finishing up now. This is one of the last chapters I've written for the book. But again, it's two actors in one chapter. But you'll see why these two actors make sense. How about uh, a, a chapter profiling Harry Carey? Oh, yeah. And Harry Carey Jr. <laughs> really? Father and son who are both part of the John Ford Stock Company. Sure. Their, their careers combined stretch nine decades of film. Wow. Uh, Harry Carey Sr. was at the beginnings of Hollywood's uh, as it emerged in the in the in the teens. Yeah, it, it, it went into the 1940s just as Harry Carey Jr. was emerging in the in the John Ford trilogies of, of Westerns that he did in Monument Valley. Did did by any chance they ever work together in the same movie? Yes, they did. Actually, uh, Red River is a good example of a movie they did together. Oh. That's, a great, that's a great question, by the way. You yeah. put me on the spot. I like that. Well, they they work for the same director. I mean, John Ford would cast these folks. Now, here's the thing about Red River. They are in the movie, but they don't appear together at all because uh, Harry Carey uh, comes in at the very end of the movie. Harry Carey Jr., um, I know, spoiler alert, he actually yeah. dies in, by the middle of the movie. Yeah. So, yeah, they do appear together in Red River, and it's um, real touching um, that John Ford would acknowledge that family, the real what I consider Hollywood royalty, and, and put them together. And as a matter of fact, uh, to honor Harry Carey even more, the senior, in The Searchers, there's something that John Wayne does at the end of his, uh, at the end of The Searchers, yep. that Harry Carey would do in many of his films. And I, I don't remember what it is. Maybe you'll have to read my book to find out what it is. I know, I, and I'm not going to tell. Uh, yeah, and I'll tell you what else. But I will say this. Uh, they kept Harry Carey Jr. at home because he was in The Searchers. And by this time, his father was dead, what, 10 years. But yeah. um, Harry Carey Jr. was kept at home because they knew this would be very emotional for him. Uh, mm. So yes, uh, yeah. <laughs> but John Wayne did something very special in honor of yes. the, the, the elder, Harry Carey. And it, it, it's very, very touching. And of course, I document that in my book as oh, well. Oh, Manny, I have a question for you. Could you uh, let our audience know uh, how they can get the first uh, three uh, 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 issues of uh, Forgotten Hollywood, and uh, so that if uh, they don't have them yet, it, they're just a pleasure to read. Uh, how can well, I go about uh, getting them? If you live in L.A. proper, I mean, you can always find them at Larry Edmonds Bookstore along Hollywood Boulevard. They carry my books proudly, and I'm, you know, a big fan of the bookstore, and I'm a big fan of bookstores in general. Of course, you can always get my books at uh, Amazon.com. They're they're available still there, and they're still selling. And of course, I make lots of appearances uh, all across the country, mostly in, in Southern California, because this is where Hollywood is, after all. But I do travel the countryside as well. And um, I'm always signing my books to somebody interested in reading my books. And I got some very kind um, messages recently from, from readers of my books. Uh, loving the, the, the Walter Brennan chapter that I wrote in my first book, the Ward Bond chapter that I wrote in my first book, and one really kind individual who said that he just could not put all three of my books down. That was very, very nice of him. Yeah. Well, they're great books, Manny. Uh, they're lots of fun. And as you point out, they're about people we know and love, and we can't always remember their name. Sure, sure. Let me offer two more examples. One quickly, because I don't have to say a lot about this guy. You'll know the name the minute I say it. I think he's my, he's going to be my 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 chapter that everybody talks about. This is probably going to be the chapter that sells the book, and that's the chapter on William Frawley. Oh, <laughs> Ed Mert. Mert. And I love Lucy, but of course he had a great career in film. He was one of those great Irish actors who yep. started in burlesque. And yep. uh, I was always say he started in burlesque. Yeah, yeah. All, yeah went into vaudeville, um, and you know, always had a song, uh, an Irish song. Usually, kind of comes out of the tradition of people like William Demarest, for example, or Frank McHugh. But uh, we all know the lovable, irascible Fred Mertz, and William Frawley, of course, is a very familiar face. Yeah. I think most people know his name as well. Sure. But well, the I'm other looking forward to this book. 
Yeah, let me give you one last, uh, it'll be the last chapter in the book. I've decided this is going to be my last chapter. One of the great character actors of the 1930s and early 1940s. You always remember their face when you saw them. You can't, you cannot miss enjoying their shenanigans and antics. And that is Asta from the Thin Man series. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be doing a tribute to the animals of uh, of Hollywood and Asta oh, is great. my my uh, textbook example who doesn't love whose real name by the way was Skippy uh, Asta <laughs> yeah well I have to tell you that I love him because he is like a clue in my cr I do crossword puzzles all the time oh. and he's ah. he's the go-to clue now, anyway there was, there was one thing I didn't find out about Asta and I researched and I researched and I researched Nobody ever documented when Asta died. So oh. that's that remains a mystery. Maybe, maybe he li maybe he lives on. Yeah, maybe he lives. On. <laughs> well, you know, when after Asta retired and they started using his offspring in the later uh, Thin Man series, the the fourth, fifth, and sixth chapter of the Thin Man series, William Powell would call the second Asta. You know. It's like like we would do mini me now for for you know that kind of thing. Yeah. He would call them a half Asta. <laughs> <laughs> on that, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna let us close on a different note, which is uh, when uh, the book has a publication date. Uh, stay tuned to this channel because the three of us will be discussing with Manny in more detail uh, the new book, uh, uh, Adventures Journeys. Adventures of Forgotten Hollywood. Yes, I uh, can't wait. I, honestly, I, I do want to get this book out now. I think it's I think it's time. Okay. okay. Well, good because because I'm I have the stopwatch, and <laughs> we'll be we'll be watching. But we're looking forward to this uh, book. I'm sure it's going to be great, like the others. And uh, we'll do a full interview uh, when it comes out. So thank you, Manny. And uh, uh, you know what? We got to end this because you got to go back to writing. You got to finish chapter. <laughs> woof, 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 woof. I, I will. I promise. Thank you, guys. For more on celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage. Follow us on Facebook. Subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.